It's in the game. It's the Patriots and the Colts. And it's coming up next on Madden Football. coverage of the NFL has brought us to one of the league's most recognizable homes, Lucas Oil Stadium, opened in 2008 here in Indianapolis. Welcome to week two, everybody. Kate Scott and Brock Hewitt here with you. Really happy to join us in a game that's already an early must win for both of these teams, Brock. They were each losers back in week one. It's only two weeks, Kate, of a 17-game season, and people I know out there are going, come on, they must win right now. But the percentage of teams all time who make the playoffs after an 0-2 start, it's right around 10%. So you are spot on once again. Not impossible to do, but your season out looks a whole lot better if you're the team. Both teams still searching for that first win of the season. One of them is going to find it here as we're off in week two. Kickoff taken at the three. And he's brought down just inside the 25 on the return. So out come the Colts for their first offensive possession. Bringing them out to fourth overall pick in 2023 out of Florida. A super athlete quarterback, Anthony Richardson. He gave us all the excitement we could hope for last week, but it wasn't all in a good way, at least for his team. Never knew if his throws were going to end in a touchdown or turnovers, and he had a couple of both by the end of the loss. You don't want him to lose that gunslinger mentality. It's intercepted on the first play of the game. That is Marcus Jones. And the Patriots take possession as he makes his fourth interception of our season. Well, Brock, I highly doubt all the plays will go as well as that one. But uh, this coverage starts off the game with a major W. That's all you could ask for right there. You come out so focused, so dialed into your game plan. You start this game strong, and you quickly throw a wrench into their opening script on the other side. That starts to play head games, and it certainly gives your defense a ton of confidence. So now it's the Patriots' turn to head out for the first time on offense. And bringing them out now, a quarterback who really knows how to make something exciting happen. You hear me say all the time, Kate, that football is the ultimate team sport, but there are times as a quarterback that feel a little bit like golf and match play. And when your opponent gives you a shot, gives you an opportunity with the pick, as a quarterback leading your team, you want to maximize it and take advantage of it. Halfway to the marker, it's second and five. From the 23. Got a man over the middle, complete. And he gets this forward to the 19. I feel so bad, I really do. And I don't mean this sarcastically, Kate. I feel bad for these guys in coverage. I don't know how you defend some of these players today. Because they get that drag route, they get one step inside of you, and well, there's very little you can do other than make the tackle. Splits a couple of defenders and completes it. And he's able to get this down to the 13. That one ends up a gain of six. And the Patriots will have a first down. Shotgun snap, they're gonna throw. He's got a man left. Every once in a while, it's fine to be conservative on first down, especially when you get enough to stay on schedule and get a little something coming out of it, too. And he'll push them down to the six yard line. Four yards on the pickup, and that's gonna leave him with third and three. He'll pass it this time. And he scores. It's a New England touchdown. The Patriots get a perfect start. They've gone up 6-0. So our first score of the game here is they cap off that drive with a touchdown. It's certainly what you're looking for, Kate, offensively. You want to force the other guys into thinking they need to play a little catch-up right away. So a nice job to get that first score and take early control of this game. Now Jake Elliott on to attempt the extra point. That one splits the uprights. And they add one on to their first touchdown of the contest. The Patriots kick team out there as they send it away. Kickoff taken at the three. 
And this drive will start inside the 25. The Indianapolis offense headed out for their second drive of the game. They're coming off their first interception of the game. This drive now a chance to rebuild some confidence. Drive starts out with a first and 10. Out of the gun, they'll give it to him inside. And this one does not go far. Manages just a yard on first down. Now it's going to be second and nine. Now Richardson to throw. Defender arrives right as the ball does, and the hit knocks it free. Incomplete. Last pass unsuccessful, and they have third down here. Here's Richardson. Buys time, rolling right. He's running for it. And that's good yardage there with a new set of downs to boot. You know, these are the type of plays that really get an offense going. This is a chance for QB to inspire the guys around him, calling his own number, carrying his teammates to a first down on that big run. That inflates an offense, and it can suck the wind out of that defense. And the defense is all over this one for a big loss. Well, he was supposed to be the one who chipped away a few and got a new set of downs started right in rhythm. Instead, he's now forced to pick himself from behind the line thanks to a great effort defensively. Second and 13. And the Patriots got home. They dropped him. And that pushes him back. Third down coming up. Sometimes I wish everybody could feel what that feels like. <laughs> when you're a QB and you just feel the air in the pocket getting sucked out and you know there's no escape, it can be... And they get to him again! And consecutive sacks have them staring at a tough fourth down. That sure ended up being worst-case scenario. Pass rush just kept coming and coming and bearing down. And he was looking for an escape that wasn't there. It's just one of those plays in hindsight, Kate, where you really got to understand, I got to cut bait, cut my losses, and avoid such a negative play. So on fourth down, it's Ryan Wright out to punt it away. Only punted once in last week's loss, and he gets this one away. And they bring him down to put a stop to that return. That one an impressive 57-yard kick. And that is where they'll start the next drive. Good field position for the Patriots as they get set for first and 10. A tight end in motion now. They'll throw on first. No hesitation, and that one's caught. And he's going to be drugged down, looks like at that 37-yard line. That play good for 17 and a first down. Markers reset, ball at the 37. They'll run here on first down. And he'll get it down to the 24-yard line. We'll get a stoppage now. Looks like we have someone banged up after that run in need of some attention. They'll come up first and 10. Off the play fake, he's going to throw. He had it for a moment, but a great defensive play to jar it loose, incomplete. I think that was a throw, Kate, that just came a little bit too late. What it did is it gave that defense time to come up and deliver a pop and knock the ball loose before he could secure it fully. He doesn't see a window he likes, so he just got rid of that one. And it brings up third down. There was almost no resistance offered against the rush that came off the line, ready to maul anything in sight. It was all the QB could do to get rid of that before he gets absolutely clobbered. Throw on third down. This is reeled in by Jackson. And he gets this down to the 13-yard line. They get an even 10 on that play. And that's a New England first down. I'm not sure how this defense let that guy slip through him like that. On third down, nonetheless, he took that snap as an opportunity, and man, did he make an impact play. A new set of downs awaits him. Here's first and ten.
from the red zone now. Nice work by the back here, playing safety valve, complete. Nothing doing there as he gets out of bounds, back of the line. Second and 10, need to get some positive yardage here. Throwing now, off play action. And the Colts get to him, he goes down! And that pushes him back, third down, coming up. So before they can get set and snap it, the clock runs out on quarter one. Neither side separating much so far. We'll take a brief pause and head back to Lucas Oil Stadium after this. Back and ready now for the second quarter. It's Patriots football. They'll need a big play to continue a nice drive. It's third and very long. Complete out to the right. And he'll be taken down at the last possible moment. He's at the one. They'll have first and goal to go now after they gain 18 on the previous play. So many times, Kate, when I see these receiver screens, I think punt return. It's like a punt return. On punt return, it's all about those blocks. The returner's got to catch it, and he's got to feel those blockers in front of him. It's no different on a big... And he's able to take this one in for the touchdown. The Patriots pick it off and get points on the ensuing drive. So, Brock, this offense looking sharp here in the first half as they extend their lead. You know, and when things are going well, sometimes you really just get into a groove. And this is a unit that's putting the pieces together. Elliott on now to attempt the point after. And the kick is good. And we're going to have some extra yardage added to the kickoff on First the roughing call. Roughing the kicker. Defense. A fortunate break for them as they get a gift with roughing the kicker. Their offense heading back out to keep things going. The Patriots kick team out there as they send it away. And he opts not to bring this one out, so they're going to enjoy some good starting field position from the 30. The Colts are ready to take the field. They haven't been able to get that offense going just yet, Brock. The deficit at 14. First and 10 now from the 30. Throwing now, Richardson. Throw right side, and that one's hauled in. And he's got a decent gain before being brought down. Halfway to the marker, it's second and five. At the 35 yard line. It's an option to the left side. And he's only gonna take this forward to about the 38. Give him three yards. That's going to bring up third and two. It's a gain of three. Brings up third and two. We'll try and pick this up on the ground. And he's brought down after a nice gain and a first down. You love a huddle? Okay, you really do. You love a huddle full of guys like this who just know how to keep the drive moving forward. There's some trust there. He's going to get the job done, and he's going to get another shot, I would guess, down the line. And he'll cross the 50 and start pushing onto the opposing side of the field. That is the epitome of staying on schedule. That kind of completion right there on first down. Well, it opens up the entirety of the playbook for second down. The third and short in your back pocket. You can get even more aggressive and take that shot. And he'll push this upfield and earn them a new set of downs. That right there, that will make the coaches happy. He didn't just get the first down, but got a healthy chunk of bonus yards afterwards. They go play action on first. And the catch is made down the right sideline. And he's brought down inside the 10 at the 9. They get 19, and now they're going to have first and goal. I love throwing on first down. And when you see a first down pass just like that, it's taking advantage of a matchup you plan for, and you go out and execute. Four downs now to get in. Here's first and goal. Working inside the red zone. And no one had 
a shot at that. It's out of the back of the end zone, incomplete. Thought he had a touchdown there. So now it'll be second and goal. They give it to him up the middle. And he gets them a little closer to the end zone, down to the six. Give him a few of that time, but they'll need twice that to find the end zone here on third and goal. Richardson back to throw. On the move, hit him, and they get to him as he was trying to make something happen. Good pressure from the defense there has them trending in the wrong direction. Okay, it's pretty clear, isn't it? It's this constant pressure that this defense has imposed on this offense to keep them out of rhythm and build up this lead. This offense is not going to author a comeback if this quarterback continues to run for his life. That's the type of long, sustained drive that takes some of the starch out of your opponent. The only negative is that the kicking team was out there for a field goal and not an extra point. But they do come away with three. The Colts ready to kick this one away, and away we go once more. That's going to be taken in at the eight. And it's a nice return here. They'll tackle him shy of the 35. The New England offense running out now. And we'll see if the perfect start can continue as they try for their third touchdown in three drives. Ball at the 33 for first down. Off the play fake, he's going to throw. And he's just going to get rid of this one. Smart move there when you saw the field. It's going to be second down. He'll look to throw. Dump off complete to his running back. And that's good yardage with a new set of downs. At that down the distance, this group was pretty confident the screen would get him enough yards for the first and it did. And so long as it keeps working like that, I bet you it'll be a go-to play for them when they need it the next time. And he'll have it down to the 44-yard line. And that one goes for a gain of 11. And the Patriots will have a first down. So we're at the two-minute warning here from Indy. It's the Patriots. Looking at first and ten. Another carry for him. And that's good yardage there with a new set of downs to boot. You know, the elite running backs in this league, they don't just see what's right in front of them. You set up big runs like this because they see what's behind them. That's called extraordinary vision and extra yards. Play action on first down. Oh, he's in trouble. He'll go down. The Colts got him. And the big play drives them backwards. Second down coming up. And right there is the danger, Kate. When you put the ball in the air, how many times do we see these coordinators when you get a nice run, right? You gain some steam on the ground, you stick with the ground game. They don't, they call the pass. And the defense reacts and reacts well with the set. And this one doesn't go far. They get three on the run. Put one in front of that now as it brings up third and 13. Pass play now. He's going to get this complete to his running back. And this is down to the 28 before the defense halts it. Jake Elliott on now to attempt this field goal. This will be a 45-yard look from the left hash. And that one is good. A little longer, but no problem at all. And that extends their lead to 14. You'd expect him to make most of those attempts from this distance, but it's never a lock. So they'll happily take this and finish off the drive with points. Kickoff taken at the three. And the return sets them up just beyond their own 20. The Colts out there on offense late in this first half. And we're a shade away from 50 seconds to go in the half. That's enough time to put something together. They'll get this drive started. First and 10. To throw, Richardson. Setting up the running back screen. And he'll get it up to the 27. Timeout, Indianapolis. That's it, second. 
Here's second and five. He's throwing deep to the left side. That's complete inside the 35 yard line. Mistaking that play call, Brock. They send everybody on deep goes, and it winds up paying off. What a play. And you'd think on the other side, defensively, they'd be ready for this. But this is truly a breakdown in the secondary. They're just not able to make a play on the ball in the air. And the end result, as you said, a big play and a touchdown. That one right down the middle. And they're a point closer now on the scoreboard. Just like that, we're back to a one-possession ball game as the kickoff is away. Kickoff taken at the three. And he's brought down just inside the 25 on the return. The Patriots and this running back headed back out for a new series. And the drive will start out with a first and ten. They're up by seven. We'll see if they choose to just rest on that going into halftime. Takes the handoff, now to throw. That's complete to Jackson. And the defense gets there to force a small loss. Well, there was never a play in any playbook I ever saw designed for a lost yardage play when you throw the ball. But if there's any solace, at least it was first down. A couple more chances to make up for it. That is caught downfield on the right side. And they'll take him down at the 43-yard line. So we've reached the end of two, and it's the visiting Patriots out in front. Now it's down to Florida, where Jonathan Coachman is standing by in Orlando for the EA Sports Halftime Report. Okay, Kate, back to you and Brock in just a moment. But after a wild first weekend in the NFL, time to see if things will settle down as we take a quick look at what's happening here in week two. We'll get this started up in Orchard Park, an AFC's matchup with the Jets in town to take on Buffalo. And it is the Jets who have the lead in that one. Nick Boyle throwing the football well. He has three touchdown passes. From there, let's get to Philadelphia as we check on the Eagles at home at Lincoln Financial Field. And you can see they trail the visiting Cowboys. Dak Prescott lighting it up. He's got three touchdown passes. Finally, let's get to the country music capital of the world. See what's happening with the Titans at home in Nashville. As you can see, the score there in the second quarter. The Titans trying to finish that one off and claim victory. These two teams heading out of the tunnel. We're ready to get back to it. For the call of the second half, here is the great and just Kate like that, we're Scott. back to a one-possession ball game as the kickoff is away. Here's a return from the seven. And in the end, he's able to get it to what used to be a touchback. It's at the 25 after the return. The Patriots offense out there to start this third quarter. They just saw their lead cut in half, but they've got a chance to return it right now to its former glory. First and ten, they're going to throw. An alert play defensively there. He got a hand on it to tip it away, and that makes it second down. Option give here. And he's brought down after a nice gain and a first down. Offensive coordinators tell us all the time big runs only happen with coordinated efforts. Great block in the spring of guys hitting blocks downfield and a back who can show off his wheels. They give it to him again. And he'll be brought down a step or two shy in midfield. They're going to mark him at the 48. Pickup of 12 on that play. And that's a New England first down. They go play action here. He throws a bullet deep to the right side. And he scores. It's a New England touchdown. The 
Patriots grow the lead coming out of halftime. Now in a close game, they needed somebody to make that type of play. Now it pushes their lead to a couple of scores and makes a comeback that much more difficult. You know, Kate, their offense did its part and padded the lead. Now it's up to this defense to make this two-score lead hold up and carry it across the finish line. That one splits the uprights, and they'll continue adding to their lead. The Patriots kick team out there as they send it away. Return coming from the six. And he's brought down. The offense will come onto the field. Set first and ten. Back to throw. Here's Richardson. Hauled in by Downs. And he crosses the sideline a yard or two beyond. Looks like the 30. Second and six coming up here. From the 32. Quick hitter complete. And he'll push this upfield and earn them a new set of downs. I'm sure, Coach, a play caller doesn't mind making the job a little bit easier. You know, play calling's a lot simpler and easier when you count on the offense to move the chains on those early downs. And that's good yardage with a new set of downs. Okay, don't think for a second this is time you step off the gas. You can feel this defense right there on their heels. And now is the best chance to go push the envelope and get aggressive. Richardson now. Rifles it, and it's caught. And he works this to the 38 before going down. Quarterbacks will look for their tight end short in just about any situation. They take away the deeper options. Now there's their consistent source of positive yardage, the trusty tight end. And they'll stand him up and sit him down at the line. Nothing gained or lost on that run, and now it's third and three. It's third down and four. Trying to throw here out of the gun. It's tipped away, and he's going to hit the ground incomplete. Defender winning that rep. That brings up fourth down. The trajectory of that ball changes while it's in flight. I'll tell you this, Kate. On shorter throws, these receivers are so good to adjust, can still bring it in. But over a long distance, a tip like that alters the course of the ball. And it sure makes it tough to adjust in time. And that's good yardage there with a new set of downs to boot. To play running back in this league, well, you've got to have tremendous vision. We saw it twice. Once to find the lane upfield, and then to get to space and break off some extra yards. Offense set for a first and ten. They go again with Taylor. And he's down into the red zone. This run gets to the 18. It's an eight-yard pickup, and they're going to have second and two next. Richardson. No hesitation, and that one's caught. And he'll go down here at the 16. Still on the move, coming to the line for first and ten. A quick throw completed out to the left. And they make the stop as that play reaches the 14-yard line. Eight yards to go. Let's see how they approach this second down. Out of the shotgun, they'll give it to him inside. And he'll take this only to about the 11 before going down. Give them about three yards, and now they're going to have third and five to figure out. Now Richardson to throw. The throw is caught. And he'll pick up enough to move the chains. 
You know, they call that the money down for a reason, because you're just simply not going to last long in the NFL if you don't convert a good portion of your third downs. It's the money down. And nice to see them roll the dice and continue the series. The shot to the end zone is incomplete. Plays like that are called twofers. It's why coaches live two years for one. All the planning, great play call, careful. And he has the Indianapolis touchdown! The Colts start the second half with some needed points. All right, so the offense does its job, Brock. Now they need their defense to give them a chance to overcome that big deficit. The momentum in the building's clearly changed. We can feel it here in the booth, but you're right. It's now up to the defense to make a stop and give them a chance. Kicking team on to try the PAT. And the extra point is up, and it is good. Just like that, we're back to a one-possession ball game as the kickoff is away. Here's a return from the seven. And he's brought down. The offense will come onto the field. The Patriots headed back out on offense. Their quarterback returning to the field now. And as we see some of the highlights from their showing, his work a big part of why they're in front right now. Having a nice, solid game as their offensive leader. I think we can say he's had a firm grip on the wheel and has really driven them to this advantage. Offense ready to begin this drive. First and ten. Oh, look at this. Quick touch pass to the receiver. And he gets a few on the plunge forward. You know, not a ton of yards, but still showing that commitment to the ground game. The type of run that keeps the defense from loading up in coverage and focusing entirely on that passing game. A touchdown aside in that frame as we run out of time in the third quarter. It's the Patriots with it, currently with a not quite so comfortable lead to start the floor. Second down now, seven to go. Off the play fake, he's gonna throw. Ooh, not much time to adjust, but he catches it still off the tip. And not much doing, he stopped quickly. Third and four coming up now. They send one of the tight ends in motion right. Third down from the gun. Short pass caught by his tight end. And he's tackled with the first down yardage. You're not going to last long in the National Football League if you don't convert a good chunk of your third downs. Nice find there to continue the series. Let's see how they attack this first down, Brock, from the 43. Throwing off the play fake here. Complete over the middle to the big tight end. And this is down to the 28 before the defense halts it. He picks up 28 on the play. And the Patriots will have a first down. From a great throw to a nice route and catch to moving the chains. There wasn't a whole lot not to like about that amazing play. All set up now for first and 10. Now he'll throw off the play fake. Pass cut, nine yard line. And they bring him down at the seven yard line. They rip off a big chunk of field and it sets him up with first and goal. From the red zone now. And he scores, it's a New England touchdown. 
The Patriots take a 13-point lead. If you're going to complete that one successfully, Brock, you need the perfect throw. Just the right touch. And you also need a guy who can go up and get it just like that. Now we'll pause. The officials want to take a good look at this and confirm it was indeed a touchdown. All right, Brock, so six points hinge on whether he secured that football without it hitting the ground. Yeah, and I'm not surprised. Most defensive-minded head coaches, when there's a score at play here, points at play on the board, you're going to take the risk and make this challenge. Those points safe on the scoreboard. The touchdown upheld upon review. That one right down the middle. And they'll continue adding to their lead. The Patriots kick team out there as they send it away. This return starts at the five. And this drive will start inside the 25. Now the Indianapolis offense heading out. They're up by two scores, Brock, but we've got some time left, so they still need to mount a drive here. Drive starts out with a first and ten. Throwing now, Richardson. That one is incomplete. Couldn't hang on through the contact. That one intended for Adonai Mitchell. And it sets up second down. Shotgun snap, they're going to throw. He's got it, room to run. And he'll take it up to the 30 before being brought down. Rhythm. You hear me talk about rhythm a lot. Whether it's a golf swing, a baseball swing, heck, even a bowler. Gets himself into rhythm. And I'm just telling you, kid, from experience, these little throws to running backs, it's one of the best things to get your offense into rhythm and a nice little gain on top of it. It's a gain of four there. And it's good for an Indianapolis first down. They are throwing it again. That one's incomplete over the middle. I think if you look up in phase in the defensive encyclopedia, that is a picture-perfect form of it. He was all over him in coverage, really forcing the incompletion. before going down. That's a defense's goal, right, Kate? Just get us to third down so we can have a chance to get off the field. And that was a good adjustment on that stop in particular when the back ended up being the target and they were able to keep him. Short. And there's a man there. It's intercepted. And the Patriots tap it as he records the first interception of his young career. Well, that's now two, Kate, that they've gotten him for picks in this game, and he's got to be careful. Right, you've got to protect the football. It is the greatest treasure you have as an offense. And this defense, well, they've got two in their pocket, and you know they're going to be going after number three. The Patriots offense all set to go. And taking a look at these highlights, Brock, just a reminder of the type of game that they have had throwing the football. It really has been the key to their success. Yeah, they've just not only stayed on schedule here, Kate. Man, they've made some music, right? Great mm. rhythm. Yeah. Not just ahead of schedule, but huge plays have followed. We've seen a lot of different looks and wrinkles throughout this performance, and it's been a joy to watch. Complete. And he gets down to the 24 before he stopped. Big gain, 14 on the play. And that's a New England first down. Running it now out of the gun. Room inside the 10. And he's taken down just in time at the two. They rip off a big chunk of field, and it sets them up with first and goal. And he gets to the end zone. Touchdown! The Patriots capitalize on the turnover and add to their lead. 
They broke out the design, run for him there. Coach just tells him, hey, Brock, KQB, do your thing, get a six. Yeah, and these offensive coaches love this play, and defensive coaches hate it, Kate, because it really gives you an extra hat, right, an extra number when your QB's got the athleticism, got the legs, got the instincts to go run it in for six. A defensive nightmare, an offensive touchdown. That one splits the uprights, and they'll continue adding to their lead. The Patriots kick team out there as they send it away. Here's a return from the seven. And he's brought down. The offense will come onto the field. The Colts and Adonai Mitchell getting set for another look here. And you know that interception is in the back of their minds as they head back out there now. They'll get this drive started. First and ten. Interception last drive doesn't deter them. They're going right back to the air. That's complete. Here's Scott. And they'll take him down at the 43-yard line. Here's Richardson. He's going to get this complete to his running back. And he's tackled after getting this to the opposing 46. Signals, and looks like we've got a timeout before that first down play. And they still have two available for them as we approach the end of this game. New set of downs for him from the 46. Richardson back to throw. Short pass caught by his tight end. And he goes down a little short of the 40. Halfway to the marker, it's second and five. A gain of five brings up second and five. From the 42. Got a man over the middle, complete. And they bring him down around the 34. Working fast as the clock ticks towards zero. He can't connect with him, incomplete. Just put it a little too close to the boundary there. No dice on that prior pass. Here's second down. To throw, Richardson. Flush down out to his left. And they catch up to him, but not until he's got a huge gain and a first down. Timeout, Indianapolis. That's it, second. And they can take a moment to try to build more momentum after getting that first. to throw. Here's Richardson. Has it in close. And this one stopped at the three-yard line. Offense hurrying to the line with the clock running. Escapes the pocket. And that short gain is enough for a new set of downs. The Colts take a timeout. That's their last one. And now they're powerless to stop that clock with a timeout at least. Trust. Kate, it is such a big part of playing the quarterback position. Yeah, you got to trust you can make the right reads in the passing game, but sometimes these little runs that just get that first down, it gains further equity, further trust with your play caller, and most importantly, gives you a first. Oh, he was on the move, but so was the defense, and they take him down. Keeping that pace going as the clock continues to run. No place to go, so he just threw it away. You know, Kate, that was one of those situations where you hear a quarterback having a clock, right? You know, and he ended up time in the pocket, but then it was like, okay, time is running out, and I got to do something. He did not force a throw and risk a pick. Instead, he just got rid of it. And he will go down. The Patriots make the play. And they're headed in reverse after that sack. So the Patriots come in and take the win on the road. And even on the road, this was a game they expected to win fairly convincingly. And I think we can say they've done just that, Brock, to the chagrin of the hometown fans who are hoping to see that upset. So that'll do it for this one. With Brock Heward, I'm Kate Scott. The Patriots emerge as winners as we say so long from Indy.